I think she's really cute. It's a she? Well, the females have shorter horns than the males and... Shh! Do you hear that? It's getting louder. <gasps> run! She's still injured. She can't run. I'll distract the rhino. It's not working. The Sumatran Rhinoceros. Hero! Here, boy! Hi, everybody. My name is Leo, and I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Let's play a game of hide and seek. I'm going to close my eyes and count to ten. You hide, and then I'll come and find you. You ready? One, two, three. Eight, nine, ten. I'm coming to find you, Hero. Oh, Hero, where are you? Aha! Whoa, you're not, Hero. Hey, you're stuck in a trap. Who did that to you? Let me help you. Easy. I'm just trying to help you. If you struggle, the trap will hurt you. There we go. That wasn't so bad, was it? It looks like it dragged itself all the way here. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now hold still, Rhino. Katie, are you there? I just sent you a photo of a rhino. We found it in the garden stuck in a trap. Oh, wow, a baby rhino. Who would do something like that? Can you find more information about it? Of course I can. Great, I'm coming up. Hero, you stay here and watch our new friend. I'll be right back. <coughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the tree house. Katie, did you find anything? You're just in time, Leo. The computer is looking for information about the baby rhino. Bingo! This rhino is a Sumatran rhinoceros. A Sumatran rhinoceros? Yes, Sumatran rhinos come from the rainforests of Indonesia, specifically in Sumatra, Sabah, and Borneo. They used to be seen in parts of Malaysia as well. But not anymore? Some people believe that horns from rhinos are a miracle medicine, and people have been hunting them for a long time. Right now, there are possibly less than 80 Sumatran rhinos left alive. That trap from earlier was probably set by one of the hunters. Less than 80? Can't the zoos help protect them? Sadly, no. Only five rhinos have been born in zoos in the last 125 years. Rhinos need to be in the wild or they won't have babies. We've got to get this baby rhino back to his home and to his mother then. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. Wow, this is in the middle of nowhere. I don't think we're going to see anybody else for a while. Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger Rocky. Welcome to the rainforest. 
And what's this we have here? It's a Sumatran rhino. We're here to help it find its mother. Well, if you're going to find her, you'll need to know some things first. Sumatran rhinos can be quite aggressive when they think you're threatening their homes. And if it looks like they're about to charge, run away. So how do we find them? During the day, rhinos roll around in mud, also known as wallowing, to stay cool and keep their skin free from parasites. You can find them at hot springs because there's mud, and they like to lick the salt from the hot springs. They generally live alone. So they talk to one another by twisting small trees into certain shapes and by leaving marks in the soil. Rhinos can be hard to find in the rainforest, so you should look for hot springs or mud pools. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Let's see what we can find. Here's a mountain with a cave, and over here is a hot spring. Do you know where we should go? Over there is a mountain with a cave. And over there is a hot spring. So where should we go? There? That's right! We need to go to a place with a hot spring because rhinos like the mud and the salt. Let's go! I think she's really cute. It's a sheep? Well, the females have shorter horns than the males, and... Shh! Do you hear that? It's getting louder! <gasps> run! She's still injured! She can't run! I'll distract the rhino! Don't go anywhere. We'll be back soon. Welcome to the game show on everyone's lips. It's time for Where, Where in the, the world? world? In this game, three lucky contestants will have to answer questions on the world. Get it right, and they will win an all-expense-paid trip to Triangle Aliens Planet. Joining us today are our mistress of melody, Cherry, <laughs> friendly fixer-upper, Fluffy. <laughs> Today's first topic is mystery country. Whoever solves the question will be one step closer to our grand prize. But not to worry, because everyone gets to walk away with loads of fun today. So if everyone is ready, where in the world is this? Your first clue is Dia de los Muertos, also known as Day of the Dead. Though it sounds spooky. The colorful celebration helps families honor their ancestors with altars, offerings, and feasts for the whole family. Good try, but that's not the answer. Your second clue is piñatas. Piñatas are filled with candy and confetti and broken to release treats for everyone. The original piñata was shaped like a star with seven points. Nowadays, it comes in all shapes and sizes. Huh? You are correct! Uh -huh. Today's mystery country is Mexico! Congratulations, Imp! Yeah! Well, that was our show. So much to see and so much to learn. Come back and find out more at Where, Where in the World! Don't go anywhere. We'll be back soon. something. Oh. A tree house? house? Cool! Huh? Sloppy, in your picture, the tree house is square. And the walls are made up of one, two, three, four. Four little squares that fit together. The walls of this tree house are made of squares. But the squares don't fit together. There are holes in the walls. Are you sure it's safe? <laughs> Wait! You wanted to...
to build a treehouse made of squares, right? We can help you do that. Let's get wild, wild, wild. Nature. Some pretty nifty building you did there, Sloppy. Yeah, all the sides of the squares fit together, and there were no holes in between. If you could do the same thing with our treehouse back home, it would be the best treehouse in the world. Then let's go home, home, home. Just that some of these walls are bigger than others. All we need to do is find a way to help you build square walls that are all the same size. And I know just the place to do that. Come on, everyone, watch me use my magic crayon to draw most anything in Molly's scratch pad. If I see it in my head, I can draw it with my hands. Almost anything in Molly's scratch pad. them all the same size. This 
this one's only one, two, three, four. Four lines tall. On it. Done. Easy peasy. Squares are supposed to have sides that are all the same size. But now this shape has two longer sides and two shorter sides. And that one does too. Look, longer sides and shorter sides. How are we going to get them all the same size? <gasps> Whoa, wow. The Octopopter! Good thinking, Sloppy! Now they're all squares and all the same size. We're definitely ready to build our treehouse. Let's go home, home, home! It looks great, Sloppy. All the square walls are the same size, and there are no holes in them. I bet it's even better on the inside. Race you to the door. Guys, did we forget to build a door? <laughs> 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 wow, what a day we had! We heard a new sound today. We found out that it was Sloppy's hammer. When he hit his hammer against a nail, it made that noise. We also learned that squares are a great shade to use if you want to build something strong. But you have to make sure that all the squares are put together properly so that there are no holes in between them. And it also helps if all the squares are the same size as each other. Just like our treehouse! We saw a lot of the color brown too. We saw a brown treehouse, brown rocks, brown sand, and even brown trees! <laughs> I love Olipolis! I can't wait to see what will happen tomorrow! Welcome back! I think she's really cute. It's a she? Well, the females have shorter horns than the males and... Shh! Do you hear that? It's getting louder! <gasps> run! <laughs> she's still injured! She can't run! Distract the rhino. It's not working. I'll take care of this, Junior Rangers. Run. Looks like they've gone. Phew. That was close. We must have gotten too close to that rhino's home. Which way now? We got lost while running away from the rhino. Hmm, what should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. If you want to find the rhino's mother, just look for a hot spring. Not for a swing or a diamond wedding ring. But look for a hot spring. I see. So not for a swing or a diamond wedding ring, but, but look, look for, for a hot, hot spring. spring. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. OK, Hero, to find the young rhino's mother, you have to look for a hot spring. Good luck. <laughs> OK, Hero. There are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be the rhino's mother. Can you see what those are? Yeah, those are just rocks. Let's continue. 
There's no hot spring here, but those are strange markings in the dirt. We must be getting close. Is that a hot spring? Yes, it is. And there's a rhino. Good job, hero. We're coming over. Oh, no. That's the rhino that was chasing us earlier. Careful, baby rhino. So it was her mother all along. She wasn't chasing us. She was trying to get her baby. We did it. We found the mother of the baby rhino. Yay! Yay! We found a baby rhino in our garden. And it was a Sumatran rhinoceros. We learned that there are very few rhinos left. If they continue to be hunted, they might disappear forever. So we went to the rainforest and brought the baby rhino back to its mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. <laughs>